Hi, if you're watching later, Merry Christmas. I'm on the toilet, so. Anybody out there? Um, so I didn't vlog. I vlogged a little bit today, but not much. And I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow. So vlogmas is kind of over. Um, I have some family members that just don't want to be filmed at both families and so I'm just gonna not vlog and I'm just gonna enjoy this year with my family maybe next year they'll let me but yeah so no one's here I'm talking to myself but that's fine people will see you later but Merry Christmas oh hi Merry Christmas from London wait is it Christmas for me yet yeah I think it's 1230 hi Becca I was just saying that um, I didn't vlog much today and I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow either. Um, why? Are you ready for it to be over, Mona? Merry Christmas, Tommy! Aww. I'm okay, I'm having a little bladder problem, so I'm on the toilet right now, so... Merry Christmas! <laughs> um, I just... Santa just came to our house for Danny and um, I'm finally going to bed. I have had the craziest last couple days. My body is just shot. You're in the bath. Nice. Love it. Merry Christmas from Winnipeg. Love you. Go to the temple for me. Aww. Once I can, I will. What do you mean, Noah? I don't have my temple recommend anymore, not because I'm necessarily not worthy, I don't know about that, but because it expired and I never went back and I really need to, like, desperately. It's kind of one of my resolutions of the year. One of my goals is to get back to going to the temple again because it's been way too long. But I'll go drive around the temple and think of you. So... Um... It's 7.30 a.m. I want to open gifts when I have to wait for Rana. I hate that. Well, lucky I'm here to distract you till they freaking wake up. I'm so like you too. I would get up at like 5 a.m. and be like, what are you doing sleeping? And now watch, Danny's going to come in at 6 a.m. And I haven't even gone to sleep yet. And he's going to come in and wake me up at 6 a.m. And it's always really cute because he turns into a kid on Christmas. We both kind of do. So he'll come in and... He'll jump on my bed and be like, Santa came, Santa came. And it's the cutest thing, so. Oh, thank you, Mona. Aw. Oh, because all fast food is closed? That's why you want Christmas. That's, that's why you want Christmas. I adore you, Mona. We would have so much fun. I love you. I need to I need to get back to church, too. It's been a long time. It's been too busy with my online eating disorder support with be eating disorder charity. Well, good for you for doing that. I don't know what that's about. I haven't been keeping up with you as much as I should. I've seen a few things here and there, Tommy, but I just have to tell you what I've seen. I'm so proud of you. Um, if you look at yourself back when you started YouTube and now, and I'm, I don't just mean like physical, I mean in every other way, you've really, really done awesome. And I'm so proud of you. Good morning, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. Um, so I won't be vlogging at all. I was asked today to not vlog at my mom's house and then Danny's family doesn't like to be vlogged. So maybe we'll vlog our Christmas morning. Yeah, we'll probably do that. I guess we'll just vlog us, but, um, and I guess that's all that you're there to see anyway. You guys really just want to see me and Danny, so. That's fine. I just wish I could share my awesome family with you, but that's okay. I respect what they need and Merry Christmas can't stay. I've entitled, entered hell, hell, hell mouth. I don't know what that means. Oh, quality. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, good luck to you and I will be thinking of you and praying for you. It's 740. Merry Christmas. I'm so tired and I need this bladder infection issue to go away so I can go to bed but it's not so I was dropping presents and now I've been leaking for like half an hour um I guess there were a 
couple people that are uncomfortable with being on camera. So what am I going to do next year? I didn't know that this year. Um, I just assumed because my family is always okay with being filmed. I assumed it would be fine, but yeah, like there's one person in particular, but also a few other people are kind of feeling that way too, I guess. I don't know. That's all I can say. I don't want to make them look bad or anything. I think they just don't feel comfortable with it right now. And maybe they are looking to enjoy the party without being worried about being filmed or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's like. I wish, like, it would be so cool if they felt the same way about this that I did so that I could show you, like, every moment with my family. But they're just a little bit more private and... I just feel bad that I've been filming those people for so long that are upset about it. I feel so bad. Like, they've never seemed to actually have a problem, you know? But it's okay. Um, yeah, it's fine because it's not for you. I mean, if you care, I'm sorry that I can't show you anything in either of our families. But for me, it'll be good to connect with them and spend a little more time not worry about filming but it is also kind of a bummer especially next year around Christmas time they're gonna want to watch our Christmas from last year but they won't be able to because I couldn't film it <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm not trying to be passive-aggressive I'm just trying to be honest but it's fine it's really okay um, however next year what I'm gonna do is talk to those specific people and if they still don't want to be in it, then I will just cut them out. I don't know how yet, yet. It's been like almost five years and I still don't know. I only use iMovie. I don't know Final Cut Pro. I really want to learn it. Once I do, I can, I can um, learn how to blur out people's faces. That's a big issue at Danny's family too because he's got a sibling that doesn't even have Facebook or Instagram or any social media and refuses to have their kids on the internet at all. So once I learn to do that, I feel like I'll be able to show a lot more, but we'll see. Final Cut Pro is easy, really. Yeah, because you can like blur people, right, and stuff. Okay, they don't look bad. Okay, I don't want to make them look bad at all. I just feel bad because like I didn't realize it was that big of an issue. Um, but that's okay. I think I need to realize what everyone has been trying to tell me, including you guys, which is that my family just, both of our families just don't really get what this is. They don't really understand, you know, YouTube and like the community that I've built. They don't understand that it's like a family and that you guys care so much about me and therefore you care about my family and you want to get to know them I just don't think they understand that so from their point of view it's like oh you want to put us on YouTube where there are scummy people everywhere and people doing horrible things to each other and and just caught up in being famous and you know what I mean so like it would make sense that they would see it that way um be because they're not with us. They're not with us where we talk to each other every day and I make a video every day and you guys feel like family to me. Um, they're not there for that, so they don't understand that aspect of it, and that's okay. But next year, I will um, try to kind of figure out a better way to do it if I can. What am I planning to do tomorrow? We are going to... We're doing Christmas morning together. Me and Danny always do our little opening Santa's presents. And then we're going to his family for a little bit until late afternoon. And then we go to my mom's for the evening. And then I come home and I start lost. And I'm very excited. My phone's gonna die. I know, right, Tommy? I know. Yeah. If anything, I guess that's the silver lining that my channel might not get taken down because now I won't be filming a lot of my nieces and nephews. I need to get a plug. This is going to die before I forget. Hold on one second. I don't want to like, flash you guys my, my coochie. 
Is that a word? Do people say that? Do people call it that? Am I just old? Okay, I'm gonna turn you upside down because I'm somehow gonna flash you. So you guys tell me, do you do you want me to vlog like mine and Danny's Christmas morning? What would you like to see tomorrow? Literally the only footage I got today was just me and Danny uh, driving down to my mom's and then me and Danny singing hymns at oops, oops. Hold the phone. Me and Danny singing Christmas songs at my mom's, but it's just us that you see. That's literally all I filmed. Um, so I guess I could piece that together and do like Christmas morning and show you guys that, but only if you want it. It's okay if you don't, I don't blame you. Will you just cooperate, little tripod, tripod that I just made? I don't wanna flash people. <laughs> I have really big hips that or off the side of the toilet, so no one wants to see that, except Danny. He likes my hips a lot. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Adriana. You're so beautiful. Thank you. That's really sweet. Me too, Becca, but that's because I need to pop it, because I've been wrapping. Hi. Presents. No midnight mass. Uh, we don't do that in our faith, but I think that that's so cool and it's something I would do. If I knew where to go and got invited, I would absolutely go and do that. It sounds amazing. Um, we are Christian, but we, but we don't do that. We have like, we have like a program that comes off on during the Christmas season where like the prophet and his apostles and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and everything get together and, and it's a live thing that you can watch on TV with your families from home. That's kind of the only thing I can think of that we really do that might be considered close to it. So there's a lot of like speeches and talking about the birth of Christ and all that stuff. Um, but no, we don't do midnight masks, but I kind of wish we did because I think that's that sounds like such a beautiful tradition. I would totally go do it. Scroll up. What am I looking for, Steph? What if you film individual people like you have in the past, like Liz and Michelle and Angela just chatting or doing a challenge? That's my plan. Oh, I will say this. Well, okay, here's the thing. I have been working, you guys have seen it, for two months um, to do these paintings for my niece and nephew. And you nephews, and you guys have been with me the whole way along, you've been wanting to see it, you want to see the process, you want to see the finished product, and I know that so many of you, you want to see their reaction, so I know that I will not be able to film um, Danny's brother, his kids, like, they're the ones that don't even have Facebook or Instagram, like, they hate it, like, they, uh-uh, so I know I won't be able to film them, which sucks, because um, the fa my favorite painting that I did is going to one of their girls. So you guys won't get to see that. So I'll just have to like tell you how it went. But I'm sure if I, I'm going to ask my family tomorrow uh, um, if, if they would be okay with me at least just filming the kids opening their thing. Because I worked so, so hard on moms. Like I worked really, really hard. And you guys have been with me every step of the way. So it, like I feel like you guys need to see it. So I'm sure they'll let me do that. I'm sure. Um, how tall am I? I am five, I used to be five seven, I think I'm five six now. I'm starting to shrink. That happens in my family. I think that happens to a lot of people. I used to be five seven, but now I'm five six, I believe. Merry Christmas, Julia. Good night, Rockstar, I love you. Yeah, whatever you celebrate. I hope you can't hear that. I'm sorry if you can. You thought I was shorter? No, I'm tall. 
I'm a tall girl. My dad is really tall. My mom is short. My mom is way shorter than me. She's like 5'4". She's probably 5'3 now. And I have big feet for a girl. I'm actually kind of considered sort of tall for a girl. My sister Angela was 5'10". And now she's, I think, 5'8". So she's shrunk. My sister Michelle is the same as me. We've been the same at everything throughout our lives as far as like feet size and height, we're the same. Um, we're both nine and a half feet, which is kind of big for a girl. You're five three and have nine feet? Wow, look at you. Dang, you must have good balance, dude. Uh, okay, ask, ask me stuff. My feet are size nine, my hands are in men's L. Oh, so I'm not the only one here with big feet? That's big for a girl. The average I think is seven to eight for a girl. Well, the average would be seven um, or eight, I don't know. I just know that I've always had much bigger feet than any other girl I've ever known. You're five five and you have nines? Hmm. Size 12 in women's, really? How tall are you, Becca? You must be really tall. You're five seven. You wear size twelve in American sizes. What? People with Aspergers tend to have big feet. Oh, I don't know anything about Aspergers. I don't know what that is. I mean, I've heard the name, but I don't know what it is. Why does it affect your? What is it? I'm gonna wait for you to tell me what that means, and then I'm gonna ask answer Steph's question and then I'm going to go. I just want to pop in and say Merry Christmas and that sorry vlogmas was kind of a bust near the end like this but that's okay. A high functioning kind of autism. Oh okay. I think I did know that but I just need to be reminded. Do you have any thoughts about Colleen and, he, and her body image stuff? I'm really concerned but I'm a fairly new viewer like her weight. Um hmm. <gasps> I have a lot to say on the topic, a lot. Um, I'm, I have a lot to say. And it's like, there's still that little part of me that's terrified, like what if she watches it or something, then she would probably hate me for talking about her body on the internet. Um, but what I will say is that there are things that I'm being with her that are extremely concerning. Concerning. So, yes, I think about it all the time. I'm her biggest fan, so I watch every second of everything she does, and I follow her religiously, and I watch her videos over and over all day because they cheer me up, they make me feel better. Um, yeah, the last thing she said is she's gaining weight after Broadway, but she doesn't seem to be. Oh, I have so many. How about we talk about that on Pringle? Yes? I don't think that she realizes that she has a problem. I'll just say that right now. Um, she's definitely got, I think, some... I shouldn't say on YouTube. I don't feel comfortable saying here. Let's talk about it on Pringle. Ask me again tomorrow night on Pringle. No, she seems, yeah. I don't know why I feel so like reluctant to talk about it on here. Pringle is my second Instagram account, it's private and I go live on there when I feel like venting and not like censoring myself because my nieces and nephews follow my regular Instagram. So I made a second one where I can like swear and <laughs> just say whatever's on my mind and not worry about a kid coming in to see it. So it's Pringle underscore in underscore my underscore dingle. Can someone type it out for me? And um, just go request it and I will check you out, make sure you're legit and accept you. And that's the Instagram that I go live on where that's the account I go live on when that's where all the juicy stuff is said. <laughs> So you should come. It's really fun. 
she's alluded to things, but it was after the wedding dress video where a little bit more was shown. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm I know. I will ask on Pringle if I'm, yeah. Um, yeah, I just barely watched that video actually like an hour ago. And, um, Thank you, Becca. I have some concerns about like more than just an eating disorder. It's a great ink. This is a great picture. Merry Christmas. Look how flattering this is. Wow. Um, I think she's got a few things going on that kind of concern me, but I don't know. I'm not with her. We do have to remember, and this is true, that she has her mom's metabolism. Like, look at her mom. Her mom is very skinny. Her mom has very skinny arms, very skinny legs. That's just how she is. So I'm not surprised that Colleen kind of went back to that. However, I, I agree that I don't think she's gained since Broadway. I think that she's lost even more. And that's scary because... But it's like she eats all the time. She eats so much. She eats constantly eating cookies and and crap and cereal and and good f food like she eats a lot um but sometimes I wonder like do people with that metabolism need to be eating more I don't know I don't know I just have my opinions and they're not facts so I don't want to say it here but we'll talk about it next time you're on Pringle stuff next time you catch me <sighs> thanks Julia you're so sweet Impress the one. Okay. Okay. Go. Did you go request Noah? Do I have any New Year's resolutions? Many. You'll find out. I'm doing a video. I don't know. Like, I worry that she's. I mean, she's never going to watch this, but still. I'm not a doctor, Colleen. If in, if in the future I get big enough to the point that you know who I am and then we meet and then we collab and then we be really good friends. Just know that this isn't me being like, oh, Colleen has this and Colleen has this. These are just my observations coming from a girl that, this is so stupid, that's never gonna happen. But just in case, um, this is just an observation coming from a girl who has a lifetime of eating disorders and other mental illness and anxiety problems. Um, and it's just things that I notice about her. Um, she definitely has some body, body dysmorphia, like, in my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I think she had, I feel like she might have some BDD pretty bad, actually, about everything, her face, her body, her, everything. She just does not, it's, I, I don't understand how she literally calls herself ugly every day and she's always like, talking about her big forehead and like moving her hair over her forehead, which I get, we all have something like that. And she talks about how ugly she is and how she doesn't know how to do makeup and doesn't know how to dress. Like she's always um, dogging on herself. And I, and I just hope that like it rubbed, it's rubbed off on me. Like I say some of the stuff that she says now because I watch her so often. It, I don't mean to copy her, I just say it because I hear it so much. Like, ooh, I hate myself, or ooh, I'm so ugly, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing, ooh, I'm so gross. Um, stuff like that. So I just hope that, like, young girls out, aren't, out there aren't, like, I don't know. She's just, I think she's beautiful. I think she's, like, there's a reason I'm obsessed with her. She's such a beautiful human being, inside and outside. I think she's gorgeous. Um, and obviously she's got some anxiety. She bites all the skin off of her fingers. She's talked about that. But she doesn't really talk about. What I will say is that I am proud of her because I couldn't do what she does as far as not, like I tell you guys literally everything. Um, I don't know how she does that. I don't know how she doesn't just go on the internet and vent and tell people what she's going through, but she doesn't. And she respects people and she keeps situations private, like her divorce and everything, I have mad respect for the way that she handled that. I, I don't even, I have no words for how much I respect that woman for so many, so many reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Steph, mm-hmm, yep. 
Yeah. I don't know. But we just, if it, if I were to give my honest opinion, I think she has some sort of super fast metabolism. And sometimes those people, like Danny, Danny has the same thing. That's why I recognize it. And Danny eats a lot. He eats all day. Um, I feel like people with that high of a metabolism should probably be eating more, right? I don't know. I don't know much about it. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Natasha Ho. Is that for me? Did you do that for me? <laughs> so I have to remember that you're Natasha and not Natalie. Because it worked. Well done. I don't know. Any new resolutions? Yes, I do. You'll find out soon. I do have a lot more to say, though, Steph, so let's, I don't know. Just for now, I would, like, I don't know if you ever tweet her or comment or anything, but whenever you do, just focus on um, what a beautiful sh person she is on the inside, and hopefully she'll start to see that it radiates on the, like, I can't believe that she can't see how beautiful she is. I can't. It blows my mind. Like, she's gorgeous. Inside, outside, upside, downside. She's my hero, and I love her so much. And she has no idea who I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, my brother. I actually don't see him until, are you talking about which brother? My full brother or my half brother? If you're talking about Ammon, the one that lives with my dad, I don't see him until... I think the 30th is when we're doing it. Yeah, she insults herself constantly. It's sad. I do the same thing, though. So it's like I can't. I'm not trying to judge her. It's just something I noticed that. And so it's like that's why I worry. Because I know why I do it. And I know where my problems come from. And so that's what worries me about her, you know. And she has talked about how in high school and junior high she was bullied for being so skinny. And I remember, I don't know, I, we'll say that, oh, I have so much to say. Anyway, um, I know, and I need to work on that too. I need to be a better example for the young people that watch. That's another resolution, by the way. How many Christmas dinners are you going to? I think two. Actually, just one dinner. We'll do like a snacky lunch thing usually at Danny's mom's and then my parents do a dinner. I love you, Becca. Merry Christmas. So anyway, Steph, next time you see me live, remind me and we'll talk more about it because I have a lot to say. A lot, a lot to say. But I just love her so much. So. Okay, does anyone, let me, ask me like a Christmassy question. Do you have any parties you're going to? We're going, it's not, they're not really parties. They're just family time. Like Christmas Day is just family. So we'll go be with Danny's family. Then we'll go be with my mom. Hi, Jana. Merry Christmas. Is what, Colleen? Do I like eggnog? I will drink like two sips of it and that's it. And then I'll get sick of it. Danny loves it though. Merry Christmas. Is what Colleen yet? I insult myself so other people will not insult me. That's what I do too, Julia. It's like, I feel like inside if I say out loud, ooh, I know I look gross today, then no one else will say it. But really all that does is actually bring more attention to us and nobody was actually thinking that it's only us I promise and if someone is thinking about that about us then that's on them not us the store ran out of eggnog that is tragic what's my favorite thing to do during the holiday oh just be with family <gasps> tonight oh I got the coolest gift tonight um I wasn't supposed to get it tonight but we were at my mom or not tonight today we went to my mom's today for like at like 2 p.m. We had a big lunch and it was amazing. And I ate like a really good amount of food and I kept it down. 
and I also later went to Danny's family and ate a big amount of food and kept it down. And right now I'm about to eat some more. Like I just decided I'm going to give no shits this this holiday. I'm going to enjoy time with my family. If I want to eat more, then I'll eat more. And not to the point of like binging, but like I'm just going to let my body do what it wants to do. Anyway, um, my family is very musical. And we all, that's what we do together. So before we, right before we were about to leave, we were singing together. Angela was playing the piano and Liz was singing and I was singing. And my mom comes out and gives us each this box and it's this long box. And do you guys remember the microphone that I used to have, the gold one, where I could sing into it and it would just come out echoey? She gave each of us one of those, except it's way nicer. It's got like, you can connect it to Bluetooth to any song and you can sing to it. It's got better like reverb and echo and volume and way more settings and stuff. And it's so cool. I'm so excited because now I can sing more for you guys. Was I talking about, oh yeah, Colleen about being bullied, bullied yes. And then I remember she, um, she did a video when she was married to Josh about people online making fun of how skinny she'd gotten because she got like where she's headed again um, really bad at one point and people were being so mean to her so she was like I just don't understand why are other women bringing other women down like she gave this whole speech to me you should go watch it it's actually really good what she said but like it kind of opened my eyes to see that her and I have one other person in my life I'm not going to say just in case who's naturally very thin and would always get made fun of and been called anorexia, anorexia and you have no butt and that's what happened to Colleen they were bullying her and being like ew you're so skinny that's so gross you have no butt you have no hips you have no nothing like ew like eat a cheeseburger ew you're so gross like that hurts too that's a that's that's just another form of body shaming and I don't know what it's like to be super skinny my whole life and so for her that's probably hard for her so I'm sure that's where some of her insecurities come from Can I sing a Christmas song for you? Okay, I'll sing a really quick one. What would you like me to sing? Let me see what we've got on karaoke. Is it choppy for you guys? Because it's really choppy for me. But as long as you can hear me. Okay, what would you like me to sing? It is choppy. Is it like super annoying? Should I end it? I should end it and go to bed. But it sounds fine. Okay, I'll just sing then. All right, what do you guys want me to sing? Someone... So I'm gonna pick a Christmas song, any Christmas song, and I'll attempt it. Whilst I leak. Jingle bells. Oh, that's what you want me to sing. Okay. For real. Jingle. Why do you guys want me to sing jingle bells? Okay. That's more of a party song. It's not really a solo song, but Silent Night. Let's do Silent Night. I think that one's better for the occasion because I believe in Jesus and I believe in the birth of Christ and all the things that brought me to where I am and so we should do Silent Night because I might start crying though because every single time I sing this I cry because in my family it's um Got a lot of meaning in other ways too so I always cry at this song so maybe I shouldn't do it I don't know where's the one we were doing earlier oh no that's not it yeah let's do Silent Night because my neighbors share a wall right here and I can sing that one quietly I'll sing you to sleep because I'm really boring so oh sorry I'm not boring I'm beautiful and see I need to stop that too Okay, while I'm singing, tell me if I am too loud or the music is, because I can't tell from here. I can't hear it. <coughs> here, I'll go. <clears throat> Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright.
gonna cry. Holy face. With the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Thanks, Ted. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. This one, for some reason, only has two verses. So, lame. There you go. <sighs> Tiffany, were you trying to make me not emo emotional by sending that? Because it worked. <laughs> That's funny. You guys are sweet. Thank you. Well, I'm going to go to bed, and I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Merry Christmas. I just want to say how thankful I am for each and every one of you, and... You guys saved my life and continue to save my life every single day. And I don't know where I'd be without you. I probably wouldn't be here, to be honest. So thank you for saving my life and for being my second family and for supporting me and loving me unconditionally because I certainly don't deserve that sometimes, but you guys always do. So thank you. And I love you guys. And I hope you have Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a very happy holiday and know that I'm thinking of you and I love you all so much. So remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. I love you guys. Merry Christmas.